Oh my, there's wind. I can tell you already with this wind that the audio for today is going to be horrible. But we are going down this hill right over here to the fishing spot. So hopefully that is going to block the wind a little bit. Let's see. We're going down already. GoPro doesn't really show you a sense of depth but we are going down and yeah i can feel it there's less wind for sure so yeah i got good news and i got bad news for you all okay the good news is you are getting a new youtube video today right now you feel me that's the good news the bad, the bad news i left my house earlier today and i forgot my chesty gopro that also has my external microphone so i only have this one camera to film with today yeah so let's flip it over we're going to do it like vlogging style today you feel me yeah it's got to be like that we only got one camera and this is the audio that you are going to get which sadly is i know it's very sad audio right so <laughs> bear with me okay I'm coming to one of my favorite winter holes right here below Lake Luxembourg. This is a highly pressured body of water. And the thing is, for most days, you have at least three or four people fishing over here. Oh, interesting. They put a new sign over here recently. So let's go there and check it out what that new sign is all about. Okay. Today is very cold over here. It's a 40 degrees Fahrenheit type of day, but you know, it's very windy. So it feels like 34. See that we just had uh, two of those fish eating chickens right around this area. Let's see what is this new sign about because I never seen this before. So anglers, invasive crayfish are in these waters. Invasive crayfish may have negative impacts on native species and sport fish. It is unlawful to use crayfish as bait unless they're used as bait in the water from which they're taken. Okay, so it doesn't say no fishing. It just says invasive crayfish, right? I'm gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna set up my stuff over there real quick. We're going to be using some very interesting equipment today. We're going to be testing some new Eurotechal gear. So yeah, let me get set up. I'll meet you all on the other side. Ain't that just beautiful, huh? This is the setup that we're going to be using for today, okay? Can you see the action of my hook, right? With my lure in relationship to this little ball of tungsten right over here that is going to serve as our jig. This is what is called a Sheburashka jig or a Sheburashka rig, okay? Although I think Eurotackle is marketing it as a switch rig, which is kind of like smart. You see how free the lure is when it comes to this kind of setup? Anyways, before I get today's video started, okay? I only got one camera, like I told you all. Before I get today's video started, I would like to let you all know that I am going to be at the Connecticut Fishing Show this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm leaving an annotation in this video because the audio is not going to be prime. I'm going to be there all three days of the event at the CT Fishing Show in Unskaville, Connecticut, which is going to be at the Mohegan Sun. I'm going to have free stickers for all my subscribers at the show while supplies last, okay? You can come over, take a photo with your boy, talk with your boy at the expo, right? And I mean, even get some of the Euro Tackle good stuff over there. I'm going to be at the Kras Outdoors booth, which is booth 125 at the Expo, okay? Now, without further delay, I'm going to be using today, right, the little new Euro Tackle switch rig over here with my prime signature bait, the one inch EPF swim under a float, all right, doing some suspended jigging we're going to catch some fish first and then later you know i'm going to talk a little bit about the rig what it is about how to use it how to rig it etc all right all right Whew. let's give our first cast Oh, I think 
don't know. I think that was a snag. That, that could have been a bike. That was a snag. I don't know what That was no bike, bro. That was a rock. Shibrashka! I think there's nobody out here today, man. It's gonna be cold. Nobody comes out anymore. Fish on, boy! Fish on! I just removed the hook, too. <laughs> I mean, not the hook, the bobber. <laughs> oh, man, you really can't make that up. First fish of the day is a little large mouth bass, man. I was doing some suspended jigging with this witch, this witch rig over here, right? But man, I was getting no bites, you feel me? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna remove the float, okay? And just work the Sheburashka over here just by itself, right? Guess what? Casting against the current, just like a little jig and retrieve, right? Little EPF swim, bro, never disappoints, you know? Bass kind of probably saw it, right? Very freestyle. Bass kind of thought, easy meal, you know? Not today, little fella. Anyways. I only got one camera today, so bear with me, okay? We're going to do a release over here. Uh, I think you folks will be <laughs> you will be able to see it, okay? There you go, little guy. Go back where you belong. So yeah, I've been casting like right over this area over here. Nothing. I caught the bass right over here at the end of the current, you know? But that's good, that's good. I'm going to set up my stuff over here again and give a few more casts for you all. Let's see if this height is going to be good enough nah man we need it we need this to be just a tad higher you feel me just a little bit higher right so it doesn't cut my head you see <laughs> so bear with me we're going up a little bit i think this is going to be perfect let's see this should be good oh yeah good and i think you all will be able to see too when i cast you know this way right so it's going to be phenomenal Okay, we got only one camera. Gotta improvise, you know? We're gonna give a few casts. Just doing the jig, like that, and a slow retrieve. Hopefully we're going to find some crap. This wind's not gonna knock my GoPro over, right? Unbelievable. Just a switch to my secret color. And we got ourselves. Oh man. That ain't a crappie. It's an American yellow perch. Look at that. Perca flavicens. Dude. Ate it. Alright. I'll tell you that. Look at this. Woo boy. Dude, ate it, okay? On the secret EPF color. That is getting released soon on the Euro Tackle website. <laughs> there we go. Look at that, huh? Boom! EPF swim, boy! Okay, come with me. All right, look at that. We're gonna release this little fella right over here, okay? Little yellow perch. Don't worry, this is all connected, all right? Dude, this water is cold. I'll give you that. We a challenge today to kind of, you know, catch some fish out here water temperature is going down it's not exactly going up we had that spring weather last week 70 degrees for like three days this week is like 30s to 40s so obviously a lot of this fish they're gonna get locked jaw right thankfully it's still a few hungry ones down there as you can see so the float with suspended jigging not working too good today that's why i kind of took it out and i'm using the sheburashka right the switch uh the switch jig without it just casting jigging sometimes doing a steady retrieve along the bottom but that's good news you know we're catching some fish different species right i just punched out my secret epf color that is not available on the website yet right we got ourselves here the epf wonder bread you know this is coming this is coming soon don't worry okay wonder bread is one of my favorite colors after pink i'll tell you that 
And this one is right out of the pack, so it's got that ass pheromone, you know? Well, okay, when I say that, I don't mean ASS, right? It's called the, the ass pheromone, right? So, hmm, smells real good. <laughs> okay, let's keep casting, and I, I, I really still want to find a crappie. Figment of my imagination, or was that actually a fish trying to get a deer? Uh oh, that, 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 that's a snag. Oh no, I just got my first snag of the day. Oh, oh it's out! It's out! <laughs> when you get a snag, let me tell you something. When you get a snag, okay, don't panic. That's the key idea, you know, because some dudes, when they get a snag, man, the first thing that they do. For some reason, is that reflex, you know, the zoom, zoom, zoom. Dude, you do one of those, zoom, that's it, bro. Your hook is gonna get so into that piece of wood, that rock, you know, I mean, not into the rock, but you see what I'm saying? It's gonna get so right, you won't be able to get it out. So what do you do when you get a snag? The first thing that you do, you don't zoom, zoom, okay? You actually try very gently to shake your line, you know? make a wave so that sometimes the hook gets out of the snag and finally if that doesn't work right then you pull a little bit harder you pull by the line and then as a last alternative you break the hook right but the first thing that you do is don't panic okay you got it snagged don't zoom 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 dude, dude that's no good okay you wave it wave your line shake it you know man so that hopefully you're going to get your stuff back because these tungsten little jigs, man, they're expensive. You feel me? I know that they are expensive. They work really good, but the price is, you know, because they do work good, right? You feel the bottom so much better with tungsten instead of lead. Not to mention tungsten, not a toxic like PB, like lead, right? All right, a few more casts over here. Nothing happens, we're gonna move spots. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's out. It's out. That's it. That's it. Don't zoom, 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 zoom. You know, man? You zoom, zoom, zoom. You lose zoom. You see? You losing, man. Don't zoom, zoom, zoom. first fish on the float today while wow, I was just whistling all happy over here my first fish on the float and this witch jig a nice size perch too you know I mean for this spillway but all right hey, never know right maybe a few more are going to show up I am to see this white crappie it may be a little one it may be a tiny one but it is my first white crappie since the beginning of 2023 yes I've said it dude not even 2024 since the beginning of 2023 this is like the one species I wasn't able to catch last year you know when I did that 2020 23 species marathon type of thing it was the white crappie I'm gonna give you some water over here get my camera in my backpack 
and I'm actually going to take a photo of it before I release it. But you see that right there, dude? That's a little white crappie, the Pomoxis annularis. You see that? All right, I'm gonna take a photo of it. Then we're going to release it. Oh yes, now that is beautiful. You see those little vertical stripes right over there? Just took a few photos of it, ready to go. Oh man, <laughs> little crappy. Hey, look at that. Went right under the weeds right over there. Boy, I'm like Takahiro Omori now, boy. 2024, you feel me? Bassmaster, classic, right? He was doing the pitching for the entire day. Last 10 minutes of fishing, dude is switched to like a bagley, you know, a crankbait. Starts is laying the bass, bro. I put that float on because I just knew it, you know, just like Takahiro said back in the days. I knew it, I knew it, I knew that they were there. You know what I'm saying? And I caught it, bro. May not be a five pounder, you know, and I am gaining no trophy, but I hadn't seen one of those since the beginning of 2023, broskis. Sorry, my beautiful ladies and gentlemen, we had some technical difficulties right over there while I was releasing the crappy, okay? AKA, my battery died, but we fixed that, we fixed that. So anyways, I would like to use this moment to kind of introduce you all to the gear that we'll be using today, right? The Euro Tackle Switch Rigs, you feel me? So come here, come here and check it out all the juiciness that came out on the website all right we got hooks of different sizes size 6 8 10 different styles of hooks these hooks over here are better for hooking like a b vibe a fat assassin right and you have hooks like these that is better for like an epf swim or an epf grub minnow and pretty much what you do is you pair up these right together with the tungsten is which weights so here we got 116, all right? We got 132, 18, and we even have one fourths that I'm going to use to do a little demonstration soon. And for those who are skeptical about the stuff, never used it before, right? Ben actually went out of the way to create a little kit, you know, the switch rig kit that has like different hooks and different weights, right? So that you can just uh, buy one of these and uh, really try it out. Now, I'm going to demonstrate pretty much how you actually rig one of these. This is very important for those who have never seen, right, the Sheburashka technology. So here, you have the tungsten switch, right, that it comes pretty much with the tungsten and the little clip. One side of the clip is a little bit bigger than the other side of the clip. This is important. What you do is you take the side of the clip that is smaller and you just press it, okay? Once you press it like that, you see how it comes out on the other side? Very easily, the clip just comes out. Just like that, all right? This clip, this is what you do, all right? On the side that is bigger, all you want to do is you want to pass your hook through it like you would do a paper clip, all right? And this is pretty much the element, right? The, the switching magic of this stuff. You can use different balls and different uh, hooks and pair them together without too much hassle. So all you need to do now is put the ball back, all right? Same thing, just put it in the hole where the stuff came from and that's pretty much it. You see, it slides right back in, right? You got the bigger side, the smaller side, and now the hook is in there. You see that? The, all the rest of the things you need to do is, of course, you attach your line on the side that is a little bit smaller, right? But all you need to do is pair up the soft plastic that you want with the setup, okay? So I'm going to put a little Eurotechno Wonder Bread that is not available on the website yet. And that's pretty much it, you know? You just put it under a float, do a steady retrieve. And one of the biggest things about this, right, is the freedom of action that this particular rig gives you can punch rocks in the salt in fresh water you can jig it mid water down at the bottom right do a steady retrieve and look at that man this thing is gonna have fire action not to mention one of the beautiful things about this in particular my personal opinion right now i can actually pair it up like the little epf swim one inch with a jig that is a little bit heavier you know like a one-fourth of an ounce because for the soft lock i mean come on man right 
been made a size 6 for 132 116 and the heaviest one was like 332 but for my life listing a multi-species fishing sometimes i go to places where i need it to be you know like deeper and i need like the weight to be heavier right so anyways, this is pretty much it for today. I'm going to leave the statistics of everything that we caught over here in this video. I apologize for the audio being like this, okay? I did what I could uh, with the free time that I had available out there. I'm just very happy that we ended up catching some fish and I was actually able to do a review on the stuff because I really wanted to test it myself. Hopefully next video on the channel is going to have better audio better fish we will see <laughs> we will see okay but thank you very much for watching as always i will see you all don't forget to use my promo code if you decide to get any of these products okay tie lines <laughs> and take it easy